Let's see how to factor this polynomial. If we directly expand it, we will get a degree four polynomial, which is hard to factor. So let's try other better method. First, we change the order of these factors. So we get the first one x plus one, then the second one I take x plus seven, so x plus seven, then x plus three, then x plus five, plus 15. Now we expand the product of the first two factors. So we get x squared plus eight x plus seven. We expand the product of the second two factors. So we get x squared plus ax plus 15 plus 15. At this point, we do a substitution to simplify the expression. We take the new variable t as the average of the two factors. So it is x squared plus 8x plus 11. So you can see the first factor becomes t minus four, the second t plus four, and then plus 15. Now we can apply the difference of squares formula. So we get t squared minus four squared plus 15, which is t squared minus one. We can factor it. So we get t plus one, times t minus one. Now we can get back to x. t equals x squared plus eight x plus 11 and then plus one, so plus 12. The second part, x squared plus eight x plus 11, but minus one, so plus 10. We can do further factoring for the first factor, which is x plus six times x plus two. For the second factor, using the quadratic formula, we know its roots are x equals negative b, so negative a plus minus b squared, so eight squared minus four a c divided by two times a. We can simplify it. So we get negative eight plus minus, here 64 minus 40. So we square up 24. We can simplify it as two square of six divided by two. You can also write as negative four plus minus square root of six because we cannot get rid of the square root. So we cannot do further factoring for the second factor with integer coefficient. So we can only write down. So x squared plus eight x plus 10. There is the final answer. Thank you for watching.